say she's worth a hundred thousand to the man she marries. I doubt there's a wealthier, more eligible heiress in the land. I liked playing Seymour because she wasn't a perfect woman. She wasn't completely palatable. Like all of us, she had um, vices and foibles um, that were not, you know, not particularly nice and some beautiful strengths and generous parts of her character as well. She was a real human being. And as a woman and as an actress, it's nice when three-dimensional women are written the way three-dimensional male characters are written. You see her on this journey where she does start off very much victimized and vulnerable. And then because out of survival in her struggle, she gains an autonomy and power and empowers herself. It was fun to play. Oh, a terrible migraine. How it afflicts me so. Sir, that is the claret. Mm. <laughs> Very like. He is often afflicted with the migraine, and none so often as in the bedchamber. <laughs> <laughs> you are wicked, madam. You are wicked. Why is it wicked, sir, to laugh and speak the truth? <laughs> To call her um, a woman ahead of her time isn't really right. She was a woman very much of her time. She was just able to uh, manipulate a very difficult situation. I mean, women had no rights back then. They couldn't own property. They were the property of their husbands. You belong to me and you will always belong to me. I may be your lawful property, but I will never be yours fundamentals of this story is about a marriage gone sour and about a psychologically um, abusive relationship. So there is a historical distance but also a very human uh, closeness to the piece. David Eldridge has done a really good job of getting as close to the real woman as possible really. Um, a lot was documented over the court case so we know quite a lot from um, witness statements and so forth what happened and what she was like. So it's really um, a lot of fun and very gratifying as an actor when you can get as close to the historical human being as possible. And thanks to Halley's book and David's writing, it was nice to do that.